YouTube. Hi, YouTubes. <laughs> I enjoy the special time we have, <laughs> the YouTubes, <laughs> before before we actually get the stream started. Um, but we're just getting everything loaded up and ready to go. I've, I've got my ear, got the computer talking in my ear. So let me see here real quick. So just getting the stream started. I think there's a way to probably do this automatically, but gosh, I'll tell you. There hasn't been a way that um, is reliable. But here we go. We're done. Woohoo! That, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to hit start this time before I um, hit the other start. So okay. I'm going to do it right. Way to go, babe. Maybe. <laughs> well, hey, guys. Welcome to our studio. Hey, Facebook peeps. I'm John, and that's Jackie over there. Hey, hey. It's <laughs> Tuesday. As I was in, as you can see um, down there, we're getting ready for the 1920s. Um, we're doing our, a live sitting this this weekend, and this is so cool because we haven't really been able to do sittings at all since COVID. So, um, but we're gonna start rolling that back out, and we're we're gonna be doing that in the studio. And um, so I'm so excited. But this is gonna, but we're doing it a whole different way, and we'll we'll talk about that. But um, it's gonna be super exciting, I think. And um, so so we'll talk about that more. Plus, I'm going to get started a lot quicker tonight because I'm actually want to finish this painting. Um, I'm almost done. It's the one that I started last week. And I know that I normally, um, we talk for a while and then I get to painting and it's like, ah, maybe I get a little done. You are easily distracted. I get easily distracted. That's true. That's true. But tonight, I am going to paint like a crazy person. Yeah, now that there's like, you know, it's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so I'm excited. And I have that elephant painting over there. I've got a bunch of painting. Actually, the next couple of weeks are going to be like just crazy amount of painting. Um, oh, the 1920s is coming, hence the new hat. Um, it's a fedora, popular in the 1920s. But look at this. I'm going to let me show you a trick. This is like um, Tomb Raider fedora here. <laughs> like you pop that up. The feather and it up. Jazzy fedora. Jazzy fedora. Jazz. You know? I prefer I prefer the Tomb Raider the the Indiana Jones inspired one. You version. like indie, huh? I do, I do. I don't, the the flipped up. It's not my style, but hey, you know. Yeah, I, I know. Like I just that. need to get a whip next. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll yes. definitely help me with my painting in the studio. <laughs> just whip it, but you know, whip it. <laughs> I was listening to Devo earlier. They, Were they you? Had whip it. Yeah. Oh, that's Must awesome. be a trend today. Oh, let me show you this painting. And actually, I, I keep hitting the camera with my hat. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, but is it? Does it look like it's lined up to you, sweetheart? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Cool. 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 So this is the painting that I was working on last week. Oh, I changed her eyes, by the way. Jackie came in the studio earlier, oh. <laughs> and um, and uh, the girl, I I mean the girl, she was looking kind of up, but that made it that made it her peer right at the people. Like so, like she was looking right at you, which gave it a creepy vibe. You know, because like the the woman is obviously going through some things, uh, obviously. And, and then the girl here in the reflection in the water, you know, which could be like a younger self of her, or maybe a more joyous self, or 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 whatever story that you think is appropriate. She was staring right at you, so it looked more like a I don't know a horror film. You know, ee, ee, ee. but I I redrew her eyes. Yeah. And um, so I don't know if you maybe I should need to hold it up for you to see it better. I mean, I, I it doesn't look as ominous. So here, let me, let me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks yeah, like. So, so now she's looking more towards the lady. Yeah, yeah. It's not as a uh, glaring, you know, omen esque. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. I know. For a while there today, I was. I thought it. I thought it. It might. It might be more like something you would see on a DVD cover. Or yeah. Like a film poster. Well, Fred joins us and says, "Howdy, howdy! Wow, I'm sorry, looks awesome." Guys. Oh, thank you, Fred. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you're, ha you're. I mean, at some point you might have to decide fashion or function. Yeah, but but now I've I have hat hair, so you know. Well, it's true. I know. I need to hook the. <laughs> you know what I need to do is hook the camera to the hat. Everybody <laughs> yeah. can go for a ride as I as I will my hit my head around. Everybody would bounce around. Um, so in this painting, the hard part of this painting, guys, for me has been. Well, it's part of the reflection series. It's a series of paintings that's gonna it's gonna go to a show in Frisco, actually. So all these paintings are gonna go there, and um, so 
Um, which is nice because like all, all these paintings, they're not commissioned. They're, they're all open for the show, which is brilliant. And, um, but in this one, the, the tricky part though has been that I had this, this girl being reflected in water. So it could be kind of an ominous sort of feeling, but which is fine. Like if somebody feels, I'm, you know, I, I really wanted to keep this one kind of open so people yeah. could fill in the story. Um, themselves you know and it, i mean to me that's more interesting like yeah i'd love to hear what people think the story is you know and um in my mind what i was going for when i started what got me interested in this was a woman that was feeling depressed but then on the inside you know they shed that happy person to, to break out but as i started it i thought you know this could actually be you know this is like the scene for a lot of different things Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot so, can be read into that. So I didn't want to put it too too much towards one thing or another because I thought, you know, it's a lot of different things. It'd be kind of interesting to see what people feel like it is. So. Well, my mom joins and says, love this. Oh, so, thank you, Marilyn. You have a fan. Yay. Well, so you said you were going to finish it on the show. What? Um, I'm hoping to. What are the final touches that you need to... So that the whiteness that's around the, the girl, the little girl, mm -hmm. is that... A rock behind her or a dress is that her dress um oh all well, this yeah it's like the dress because i wanted to give the girl a different dress right than what the woman was wearing but then then i wonder is that is that a good idea and i thought well yeah uh, i think a it? different dress is good yeah i mean her i mean the entire person's different so well i mean yeah know. if you give the exact same dress you're it's implying it it is that that girl yeah I it'll mean, be ill-fitting <laughs> it, yeah. it would probably hang off. <laughs> I'd be like, where'd the girl go? <laughs> I just see a dress with something poking yeah, out of it a little bit. Um, yeah, so, you know. Um, man, I tell you what, though. I am looking so forward to this weekend. I feel yeah. like I'm getting distracted. Well, Fred says the texture of the back makes it look very 3D. Oh, I'm so glad you can see that, Fred. I wasn't sure. You know, there's texture in the water, too. Um, but thank you. It's so good. I wasn't sure. A lot of stuff is missed on on the camera, like the this these um, these webcams that we use. Like they're great, they're wonderful, but on the other hand too, they um they also um aren't you know they're not they aren't like what you would get from like a Hollywood camera. Right. You know, it's not true color and all. So a lot of times, like I'll have a I'll have a, a picture on here, and a friend of ours will like see it. Then they'll see it in real life. They're like, holy moly! Like there, there's so much more color in the actual painting. And um, yeah, and in our studio lights give it like a yellowy, slight yellowy tint. So it's it's, it's a, they're always a, a bit brighter. And we, we do try, guys. We try. We try some. We try. <laughs> we try. But you know, like you know, but it's it's just a pickle. It really is. Like you know, to get the right lighting and everything. Yeah. So. Well, Barbara Brands joins us. Says a present present and accounted for. Great to see you guys. Thanks for tuning oh, awesome. in. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. So speaking of Barbara. Mm -hmm. um this saturday we've got uh the sitting do you want to talk about it i do <laughs> i figured mm. john's very excited i am in and what, what well one of the things too um i've had i've had a number of people ask like well what are you guys actually doing like what's what's the deal <laughs> let's, what? let's what's going on saturday and here, here it is in a nutshell guys like um so it's just an art setting, so so um, is the basic idea of it. So like, whenever you're going to do a painting, um, if it's going to be of a real person, then you know you meet them, or like if you're an art student, let's say, if, like if you went to an art class, um, you know, and you're you know you might do a figure drawing class where you have people pose in different poses, so you can get used to drawing that and you learn how to how to do that. Well, if you're working on like a particular, let's say let's say like the 1920s, like 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 we're going to work on this weekend. Um, it really helps to have vintage clothes or, or clothes that, that look like that. You know, the um, things that actually are from that era or, or look like they're from that era and get it all together and you get people wearing that and help spark ideas. Um, makes everything so much more realistic, so much, um, you just get so much more from it. You know, it's funny, even in a museum, like like what we do, we do, um, we do workshops at museums where, where, where we'll walk around and we're looking at a painting and everybody knows what grass feels like. Everybody knows what, what leather feels like. But if we bring like like um, some different scents of like a leather smell, a grass smell, or if we bring cloth of what, like a silk cloth that you know somebody's wearing in a dress uh, in the painting, and people are feeling that and smelling that while they're looking at the art, it's incredible how much more um, 
you're just you're just there. How much more present you were, um, how much more connected. The ideas you get, and you don't you never forget that painting. Well, it's the same thing in a sitting like this, where you have everybody working to come up with this moment. So so like so we so I have I have, I have a few different like sittings that I want, and um, um, so. Um, and we have some people that are actually going to dress up in vintage costumes and they're, and they're going to pose in them. So, so we have some different ideas. So, so, you know, it's actually different sets and it's very minimalistic. You know, like I say, this is like community theater. So, you know, so, so it's very, you know, it's, it's more about the poses, the costumes and all that. So the basic idea is just like in a, in like an art workshop. If you, you know, in a college, you've got a model, they're modeling the, you know, the clothes or modeling, whatever, while everybody else draws. Um, that's that's what this is. So I have some ideas for paintings, um, but we're just opening it up is the big thing, really, because I thought, well, good grief, if if I'm going to be doing this, and I'm going to be doing this for my artwork, this is the kind of thing that maybe other people who are interested in art might might be able to use too, or or, or at least be interested in in you know watching it. So um, so I'm actually going to be doing the settings, but anybody else who wants to sketch draw paint um, we we may have a few people here that night that mm -hmm. are doing it we're keeping it very small you know this is still like covid kind of stuff everything um, everybody you know everybody's so super safe everybody that's done you know been here and all that so but so it's gonna be pretty small here in the studio but um, but the idea is you know is, it's gonna be the sort of thing that material that um, people can actually use you know if they want if you want to sketch from it if you want to um, paint from it if you just want to be a fly on the wall all of that is just fun I mean I I don't know I I love this like I I've been fortunate to, to be invited to other artist studios when they do settings and stuff and I just love it like I love to be there and I love to see the process and all that so yeah so so the goal is it, um we'll have this sitting here and um there'll be a, a small group of people that are also creatives in on the action um, but the goal is to live stream it um, on the art page so anybody at home can sketch stuff and share with us or do whatever. And we're right now, the, it should be cool. Now, we're, we'll have music. It'll be like, you know, kind of a free-for-all. So there, if there is the off chance that Facebook might kick us off because of, like, who knows music. But um, we're going to give it a try. Yeah, yeah. So it is a live event. I mean, it's completely live. So... Um, you know, it's not going to be like scripted or anything, and, and it's going to be a lot of um, chaos. Yeah, it's going to be because <laughs> because be we'll we'll definitely be here to chat and everything. But but most of the time, like I'm going to be working with the people that are that are doing that, and you are too, and you'll be taking photos and all this sort of stuff. So I mean, you know, it's going to be a you know a real working event. So I don't know. Well, I, mean, I mean, you know, if it, if it's your jam, that's awesome, and if it's not. Like if people like this, we'll do a lot more. If you know if people aren't interested, that's cool too. I, I still need to do the settings, so I'll still be doing them, but we won't stream them or whatever. But we're gonna try to stream it, and yeah. I'm also gonna make a video though of it. I'm gonna record it um, here because um, if we do get kicked off Facebook um, because of sound or something that that goes through, um, because it's 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 an automated stream algorithm for Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. even if it's something that, that that's okay to play, sometimes they'll 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 mute the stream because a human doesn't, doesn't ever have anything to do with it. They just it's a weird thing. Like a lot of content providers that are actually like content providers get mad about that because there's nothing you can do about it either. You know, you just you just get kicked off and they're okay. So um you know so I don't know. It's a thing but if that happens then I'll still have the master video. Yeah and we can like silence yeah i can mute it and then i can yeah. add i don't know yeah, 1920s cool. music from facebook i guess well I um fred says uh i have an art piece that could be a cousin to this piece the one that you're working on he said he'll send a picture oh man that's brilliant so and then um my mom says it's so emotional well, thank and you. Uh, Fred says, I, I work at a museum and sometimes we do take it for granted that awesomeness of what we are surrounded by till we get a visitor that is excited and it reminds us again. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's interesting. Um, and Barbara says, you know, I um, there is music available for from public domain with music of the 20s. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Thanks so much, Barbara. Yeah, I was looking at that. Um, so, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe we can use that. Um, but you know, so I don't know, but, but also Facebook though is really particular because unless you get it off the, the Facebook's public domain, 
they'll they'll sometimes they'll they'll still take it and they'll and they'll flag you for it. I've been um, YouTube has free 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 music. Uh, Facebook has free music, and it, I've used free music from YouTube. It's like an old old YouTube track, and Facebook let it go for like four seconds and then muted it. And I, and I got a content advisory thing, so you just never know. Yeah, you you don't. There, in fact, there is one video of ours out there that we've gotten dinged for for violent content or oh, something. Really? Yeah. Oh, what? Which one was it that? It was the one we did back in the day of um, the art of video games. Oh, really? And I don't know. I like I went in and of course I appealed it and all that fun stuff. And I'm you know you wait forever for them to look at things, but I mean they it is it's just an algorithm. I mean, we literally were like this talking about the art of video. In fact, Jack was in on that one. Like, Jack sat next to me and was mm. talking about the art of video games as well. So it was clearly not, nothing crazy. It's just they, they maybe caught a word here or there that talked about something in a game. Who knows? Well, it's, it's weird. weird, too, because we might have said a wrong word because also the words you say, like, yeah. like if you say the terrorist, like, I don't even want to say yeah, it. Because yeah, yeah. like if you say the wrong words, you You'll can get, get flagged by it. And it's just, it's so crazy because it's not a human, like, that... It's just a computer that that takes it out of out of context. So if you say the you say too many of the wrong words, it's just like nope. True. <laughs> well, so this week was um, well, so far this week has started off exciting. Um, what happened? I can't <laughs> well, remember. Well, yesterday we did our first in person workshop with kiddos. Oh yes, yes. Oh my god, I swear. <laughs> you know. Well, there's a reason why I'm the calendar. Well, yeah. I well, I was I I think I was in the studio by like eight this morning or so, and I've been here pretty much all day. I don't remember yesterday <laughs> much until. <laughs> well, I mean, it was it was fun because the it had been obviously it's been a year and a half, and we've been doing all the art workshops on Zoom, and the coordinating of supplies is tricky and it's just uh, it's just not you're such a rock star you got all that together well thanks except, except for, the for your painting. paintings yeah <laughs> <laughs> we got we got all the way to the workshop had all the supplies everything's worked out all the itinerary for the workshop everything was good to go but we didn't pack any of john's paintings so we had to <laughs> show them on like a screen john's paintings and, and then in the auditorium they sh i think after the fact they showed the kids on on the big screen so uh, it's always something, you know. I mean, but that's the nature of those workshops. If if it's not us doing something wacky, it's them springing something different on us. That's true. But um, it was nice because, you know, they were probably all, what, um, first and second graders. Yeah, and they were all so great. And we, we had the Lots best time. Lots of energy. Time. Yeah. Hey, it was a lot of fun. I, I have to step out just for a second. Do you? I do. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think, well, yeah. They can stare at me. I'm really the star anyway. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Now, um, now I gotta go turn the thing off. Sorry. So, um, your your meat's getting is it getting is it's it a, supposed to be an hour? See, like this grill, it's got all his attention. We have a new, um, well, it's not well, it's sort of new. We get, we got a pit boss, and so he's smoking turkey legs, and then he has a a um, meter that you stick into the meat and it goes straight to his phone and he can check in on on it on the meat you know through his bluetooth and it'll constantly tell him what temperature it's out and everything and so it alerts him when things have gotten serious with his meat <laughs> so you making fun of me yeah yeah <laughs> I'm, sorry I'm making about that. fun of you <laughs> oh, gosh. but but you know i i'm i'm partially to blame because with this grill <laughs> i have cuz i'm peru i peruse facebook more often than you I don't necessarily post, but I have joined the Pit Boss, like, Grillers Facebook group. Yeah, see, it's all your fault. And <laughs> he gets all his weird grilling ideas from me, like like grilling coffee beans and grilling Ooh, yeah. Ooh, chocolate. Oh, yeah, do that we, again. Some other thing. There's, like, recipes for, like, grilling chocolate chip cookies and all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> these people are serious. So John's making turkey legs and apparently yeah. he's getting serious outside. I, I smoke turkey turkey legs and I, I have a thermometer that reads the the temp to me and it goes through my phone that goes through my bluetooth so i have my computer here and my phone and right before this it said oh you know it'll be ready in an hour i thought oh perfect that's great and then of course you know you know we get we get 15 minutes in it's like it's done <laughs> so i'm like what <laughs> come get your meat so I had to well go turn it barbara off, but... says uh matt 
uh, Tolentino, a Singapore from Singapore Slingers, plays a live stream music of the 20s every week. I tried to get with him about this, but since things opened up again, he is back to gigging, and it's hard to nail him down. Oh so, man! Yeah, we'll 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 look into that for sure because it would be really cool. Like like even though it's a sitting and it's small group and everything, I want to you know have at least like a, a drink for people here that's kind of 20s ish or just like the yeah. vibe kind of be all 20s ish so yeah so that'll be fun and yeah we, we want it to be a lot of fun and this yeah in this first sitting there 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 there's quite a few people that wanted to come that that just can't because yeah, they're, they're out of town yeah something. like there's so many people are out of town it's ridiculous yeah you know like i've noticed on facebook there is a ton of people tr- like like traveling like to Cancun and yeah. all of a sudden people are like going to the beaches and all this sort of stuff. So yeah, that, so which people is awesome. are out and about. And I should say, which I'm stoked about, Jack got his first shot today. So he is shot one on the vaccine. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling better because we went to, what was it? RetroCon last weekend and it was packed with people. And yeah. so I was, I'm, I'm happy that we're, we're, you know, <laughs> soon enough, it'll be good. I don't have to worry about that. Jack is much. so much better about getting shots than me. I don't, I don't know. I, when I was a kid, I, I had so many needles. I was sick a lot. So many needles, so much of that. It didn't really bug me, but over time I just got, we're like, I've had enough needles. Like <laughs> I just don't want them anymore. Like I'm good. So I hate, I hate, I hate getting shots. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I just, it makes me a little nervous because. I had my blood taken so much. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I would be in the hospital for like a month at a time. And I'd have to go to, even if I went in the hospital, I was at doctors all the time. And, I, and doctors are like vampires. They just love blood. You know, <laughs> my my best friends were, were the pl- phlebotomists and stuff. It was just, Ugh. but, um, you know, it got to the point where you're, you know, um, every once in a while, because you have so many, you're going to have some bad shots. Yeah. I, had, I had some bad reactions to it, you know, where I got a shot and I was allergic to what's in it. I had yeah. that happen to, a number of times had blown veins from the like getting blood taken so you know over time i'm just like you know i'm pretty good <laughs> about yeah. not getting poked anymore so i i get i get a little nervous about that yeah no. i mean i'm good when i'm there i just have to you know get ready and then i'm fine yeah but it's it is one of those things in my life i don't really stress out about that much with things like that you know where i get anxiety yeah but that's definitely one where i feel it and then i have to address it you know, I have to think like Okay, well, it's cool. Okay. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, he he's a rock star. Like he was, oh. like, boo. Yeah, Jack's brilliant. She was like, "You want to turn the other way?" He's like, "I don't really care. It's cool." Yeah. Too. <laughs> and then and then he had to sit the there. <laughs> he had to sit there for fifteen minutes, and I was like, "Do you want to play with my phone?" Or because he didn't. I guess his phone was dead. Knowing him, I don't even remember. <laughs> and because uh, I needed to go, you know, shop for a second in CVS, and and uh, he's like, "No, I'm cool. I'm just hanging out." So, was, <laughs> so yeah, he's really good at that. But you know, he's he's on the tail end of getting quite a few vaccines because you're a kid and you get them all the time. Yeah, he's great. So, and he really needed the COVID. I, I know, like, there's some concern and worry about should kids get the shot or not. But it, it seems like the consensus from the CDC is like definitely do get it. it. But also, Jack is going to be. I mean, if everything stays good, you know, or doesn't get worse or anything. Yeah. Um, He's going to be on a on a long tra- train trip this year. He's going to be on a planes. He's going to be on a um, a, voy- a voyage. <laughs> um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of traveling this year. So this this was the deal. He, one more year, another year of homeschool, then I get to travel with him a ton, on top of what we were doing as a family. So I was like, that's you know that's how this is going to play out. <laughs> this is the only way I can keep my sanity. So. What I'm doing on the painting here is I'm trying to add a lot of color around this lady because I don't want this to be an overly somber, terrible feeling, kind of depressing painting. You know, Mm -hmm. I I want it to be like there's hope. And that's hard to do when your central figure is holding their hands and their their face in their hands, you know. So, But I want there to be bright colors and I want it to be an idea of hope and also I'm adding lots and lots of of flowers and... um, so and, and, and I'm doing that by not not painting in actual flowers. I'm putting in dots of color and 
that's just a choice that I'm doing with this, and hopefully it'll work. If not, then I'll paint in the flowers. But I think it's working. Well, thank, thank now, you. Now, I, I do want to ask, are you going to put any reflection in the water of flowers? Well, I, I have put a little, so I'm going to put some more. Like okay. all these little colors in there. Gotcha. Which, you, I don't know if it shows up on the camera. I mean, I might not just be... I, I might yeah, because, I, because, because they're not dots. They're like, they're like little lines. Oh. So it's oh, a lot of lines. I got and, you. Um, okay. Which I'm going to add more, but... Um, but but the big part about this though is just that I, I I want it to be almost like little fairy lights or you know mm -hmm. it's like little sparkle, little bits of sparkle because yeah um, because I, w I want the color to come in whenever you're looking at the figures, so you know the idea isn't to, to be looking at the flowers all the time you know so you look at yeah. the flowers you say oh that's just a little splash of, splash of color, you know it's that it fills in the I don't know the mind a little bit yeah, yeah that makes so anyway sense. that's what I'm thinking. Sometimes what you think and the reality of things is different. So, yeah, <laughs> well, Robin joins us, says, hello, loves, and love your hat, John. Oh, thank you, Robin. So, he's it's, doing his 20s thing tonight. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting stoked up for the 20s. We, got some, Saturday we, thing. we got some accessories, some, some of the, the other accessories today in the mail, and I was putting them on, and it was just to make sure. <laughs> so, this is going to be fun. It's going to be crazy, so. Yeah, it should be a really laid back, good time. <laughs> wild a wild laid back time anyway you ooh, another thing that we were going to show everybody was your the turtle oh yeah i can show that so i know um last when we did the last the live stream on thursday we said the turtle had been shipped which we were stoked about mm -hmm. but we didn't have an image of it dialed in but now we do so this is um the uh basically the top of the turtle so we took it outside and I, I got on a ladder and took a picture from above and you can see that it's got an octopus and an anchor and coral around it and everything so um and it's painted top bottom oh, yeah, everywhere all, it's, all it's, over it's, every it's, side. it's painted all over the thing yeah and, and so this is a picture obviously of john um an eagle sitting oh, behind it? it yeah she was being all silly and uh so I get, for a reference of how big big it was it just you know, it, you know, two people had to carry it around. So. <laughs> oh, you know that 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 reminds me. You mentioning that the eagle is there. You know, one of one of the best things, like 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 we were at the school yesterday doing those art workshops. Yeah. And um, and we're painting with the kids. The first time we've done that in a year and a half live. We've done a bunch of them Zoom. Yeah. But um, it was just so great though to see that when the kids meet eagle, they just love eagle, and it's just I don't know. They, I think I think that opens their minds more about disability what disability can be and all that more than anything else just yeah yeah just it was cool. an eagle and, hear, and hearing about what what she can do and seeing how cool she is well robin says uh chevy and shirley are excited for saturday so man i'm excited too i just i'm just excited to hang <laughs> with the, with you guys so it's cool. me too I'm, um I, I'm, we, we haven't seen chevy and shirley in quite a while so that'll be it'll be good to get yeah, re yeah. reacquainted with it that. and um Cassie says, uh, that is beautiful. Uh, Barbara said, wow. Fred said, wow, great. And Cassie said, are there any paintings or any other items with the turtle on your website? You know, no, there aren't. But, in, and I'm, I'm trying to think, because we grabbed some really great shots of it before it left and some video work and all that fun stuff. Oh, yeah, I got a ton of video. Yeah, from Molly. yeah so, um, which we're going to slowly release and post and all that fun stuff and, and the the people that had John do it wanted copies of everything but um I don't know I know I, I I'm wondering how I mean it would take some photoshopping <laughs> um but to get some bits and pieces of the turtle onto like products or print print outs like prints of anything I don't know that it'd be cool to be able to get little like figurines of the turtle but I'm you know wow. I'd, I'd have to do some research I'm not quite sure yeah that 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 we should just, be difficult. We should just buy a bunch of little tiny sea turtles and you can paint them. Just spend like a couple days painting a bunch of turtles. Little tiny ones. Can you do that? Really uh, fast. Really, really fast. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> You're like, what? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm painting flowers over here and it's taking me forever. <laughs> I can't imagine painting an entire little turtle. Well, Robin said, um, we haven't either, LOL. And then, mm -hmm. um, please, question mark. So. Oh, man. Man, I don't know. I'm. We gotta send an email to Chevy or a message or something, cause I wanted I wanted to know about like if, if what Chevy would be wearing, cause I know she's bringing something. 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, I was going to message them. So just you guys, <laughs> you're tuning in. Um, I was going to message them what we got, what we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know um, uh, Chevy and Shirley were wanting to know what we've got. So I will message you guys tomorrow afternoon and let you know the gamut of everything. And just to, you know, we're still kind of working out some props. I really, really, really want to get a feigning couch or a chase lounge or something <laughs> to be part of the prop situation we have going on. But a couple of the sitting concepts John has doesn't even really call for a chase. Well, I mean, you let's know, be honest. Yeah, but so, you know, but this is just the first sitting. Of, right, right, You know, right. we're, we're going to be doing a bunch and... And it's not all going to be in the 20s. Like, um, and one of the things is to be a mashup of the 1920s to the 2020s. So, so, so we need to do like a 2020s mashup too. Yeah. So, like, we have to do a night of that. And plus, there's so much cool stuff. And, you know, it'd be, it'd be so much fun to do the 40s and the 50s, the 70s, probably more the 60s. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, 80s. I, um, I found a members only jacket the other day. So, you know, I'm ready for it. You're ready for it. <laughs> You're ready for the 80s era. Let's yeah. do it. Well, Robin says, we're looking forward to hanging with y'all, too, um, and cool deal. Woohoo. So, I'm excited. It'll be fun. Yeah, guys, and um, so that, that'll that be this Saturday. Um, so, have you oh. worked out your next Reflections painting, or is that going to, that was going to be one of the sittings, right? Yeah, actually, so 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 here's the thing on Saturday, too, guys. Um, um, so, I'm adding more and more flower reflections in the water. Can, can you tell from the thing, or? Yes, yes, I, yeah, I can, definitely. Is that giving it a happier look? It is. It's light. It's it's lighter. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, that's good. She's not, you know, from the omen anymore. Well, that's with nice. Her flowers in her side that's eye. That's good. Well, yeah. So so in the sitting, there there's actually a couple of things. Um, we we have a stage over here. It's a really small stage. It's just a, a wooden platform, you know, that we use for sittings and things. It has a trellis. And what we're actually going to do is. For the reflections painting, a big part of it is going through glass or mirrors, windows, um, glasses, sunglasses, anything that has to do with glass is, um, can, can be used in the reflection series that I'm, I'm working on for the Frisco show. And um, so in some of this, like um, we're making like a big frame that looks like a big mirror frame, but it's, it doesn't have the mirror in it because we're going to do a sitting with someone on one side and somebody on the other. So it's like you know, so it's, it's almost like it's almost like in this painting here where you have one person and then another person's being reflected. So 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 that might have to actually take place on a couple nights or so. But, you know, you'll yeah. get the sitting on one side and then you have the reflection, you know, and you can flip it. Um, so so we actually have that to hang from a trellis that we have in here over the stage. And then we have a um, like a, um, a window that we're going to hang for, you know, some sittings with that. Um, some ideas of like maybe somebody sitting in front of the window and maybe there's like a whole cityscape being reflected in it. Maybe we do something kind of cheeky and, and kind of funny, like, you know, a little funny thing. I, I don't know. We're, we're talking about ideas and then, um, but there's, there's tons of ideas. So it's just a bunch of these little sittings, like little sets or little, um, vignettes. Yeah. Little vignettes, the vignettes. That's a good word. So little vignettes that we're setting up and we have like three that we know we want to do. But I have a ton of them that I would like to do, but it just depends on what, you know, um, like the props that you have, the costumes and all this sort of stuff. So, you know, we'll just see. But yeah. there's at least a few that we're going to do, and that's going to really help the Reflection series. So right after the sitting, I'm going to start working on some paintings. So Tuesday, the next live show, I'll actually have at least a drawing, if not part of the painting done, from the sitting that we're going to do on Saturday. So we're going to try to stream the sitting. If Facebook will let us, um, and then and then um, at least part of the sitting, and then um, and then on Tuesday I should actually have some artwork that came from the sitting. So yeah, um, yeah, so it'll be great. Gonna, gonna be so cool. <laughs> can't wait. Well, I really can't wait. It's gonna be so great. Fred said a Victorian seti would there probably be available from somebody. Yes, I've been on the that I love that idea, and I've been on the hunt through Facebook Marketplace for like. Uh, you know, crazy fainting couches and all that. Really, I've wanted one long before this, but uh, you know, we'll we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. Because it also, I can't I can't bring myself to like both of us cannot bring ourselves to like buy one unless it really serves a purpose in the house. And so we have to maybe move our old little couch out of the bar room, and it's got to go in there. So it's a, there's a thing. It's a thing. 
Well, Robin says, uh, like, Robin reflecting Chevy or Amanda Lee reflecting Shirley. That could be really interesting. Oh, that'd, that'd be cool. Yeah. That, that'd be cool. You know, and the, you know, one of the things about it is, like, for my paintings, um, painting is so much, well, I almost said it's so much harder than photography, and we almost lost all of our photography friends. <laughs> but I mean, but I don't mean harder, but I mean, like, it's so much more selective about an image in a way, in that with a photography, you can take a bunch of images. Yeah. And you can do a show and you can show, but with the painting, like you've got to select one image, like you got to select one idea and you got to go with it and yeah. paint it, you know? So, um, so, so there's a lot of ideas that we have that, you know, I think might make a good painting. And even if it doesn't make a good painting, it could make an amazing photo. So like the idea of like you being like, the, uh, that's part of the fun is like, it'd be cool to do that, you know, have... You, you reflecting sure you know that to yeah, do that we can, we can. even if it doesn't make a, a good painting it can make a fantastic photo yeah yeah and, and part of the show too is that I want to I want to um, so in the art show um, I, I want to have behind the scenes photos mm -hmm. and I, I want to have art photos and all that from it so it's not just the paintings it's photography as well so um, and any photographers that are a part of it if they want to be be a part of that as well then then um, you know then then you know I'm sure we can make that happen but. But, um, you know, so I want it to be all that. So it's not just necessarily about the painting. It's also about the cool photos. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know. Well, Fred says, yeah, uh, funny to have couches that people can't sit on because they're too fragile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There was one that we saw when we liked and it was like, you know, the, it was like. Uh, Jack and I could not both sit on it. Yeah, yeah. Time. It was so it was, fragile. It was, it was fragile. like, well, okay, well, if, if our, you know, if our teenager decides to come sit on it with us. <laughs> Um, and Barbara says Ram Ramona will be coming too in a 20s dress. So that is I, so oh, cool. Yes, and and your photos, I got your photos and the, the, just awesome. Love it. And, and I, I, so I've been legit. A, she looks so like 20s legit. It's awesome. Yeah, and, and things have been so crazy around here. I've been meaning to reach out to everyone and say, oh, thank you. Know, like, so I wanted to reach out with her and just say, I'm so glad you're coming. You're, you're welcome. And you know, for your, I mean, war, I don't know, like a warm welcome. Just let her know, you know. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But I will. I was like, tomorrow was my day to like, you know, I'm gonna touch base with Chevy and Shirley, Barbara. We can reach out to Ramona, you know, everybody, and just be like, okay, here, you know, just the the fine details, you know, everybody that had really expressed interest in showing up, then we'll be on the same page. But, um, yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, I think, think that'll be awesome. So. Then the next reflections painting you're going to work on is probably going to be one from the sitting. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure which one. We'll have to see from the sitting. But um, there's also one that I have, and it's a um, – um, oh, gosh, I'm not sure. I want to call it a bucket hat, but there's another name for it, but it's sort of a French name, and I don't know. But it's like a very typical 1920 sort of hat where it kind of goes down a little bit. So I have an idea for a sitting with that with and them wearing um, – 1920 sunglasses and then like a feathered boa so it's a very textured sort of painting and then you have the reflection and i'm not sure what's reflected in the sunglasses yet but i'm really kind of excited about that one too because it's very simple and it's very much like though um i mean it's simple in that there's not like a big background yeah so it's very direct in its imagery and um so i, I really like that i think that'd be cool and it goes and it actually goes with some other sunglass paintings that i have and I think that just helps tie like the 1920s with this sort of modern stuff that I've been painting too. Yeah. So I think that would be really cool. Um, that window one, the the, the mirror one. Um, there's another one with glasses that I think would be really cool. Um, and there's some other ones that c could work in it too. But um, yeah, so I don't know, man. It's you know, it's like you know, there's so many good things to choose from that you know. I think I think that's going to be the hard thing is which which one do you do first? Yeah, I think the sitting will inspiring yeah yeah You'll figure it out pretty quick and also i want to have something to show on tuesday so yeah it can't be anything crazy complex like it can't be like oh i'm gonna do the gatsby mansion with you know with the <laughs> with, with right. a bunch of model t fords out front yeah. and you know gangsters and you know so it's like you know i want to be able to draw something and yeah yeah for sure so anyway well there we fred go. says the idea of reflections is cool um have some people at a table and then with big mirrors showing reflections of people that are not at the table Ooh, that could be cool. Neat. That makes me think of like, you know, when you're sitting at a <laughs> when you're sitting at a bar, and they, you know, a lot of bars have the mirrored backs behind the bottles, doing something like, I, don't, I mean, it, it's that would be pretty 
detail oriented, but like something different reflected in the mirror of the bar Ooh. than what's like sitting at the bar or something like that. Was there a scene like that in The Shining? I can't remember where, <laughs> Probably, where you know, because yeah. that does sound Jack in it, you know, the Jack, like, um, um, yeah, the, the, the character's name was Jack, I think, you know, mm -hmm. Jack, Jack, yeah. um, and then the actor was Jack, so that's weird. Um, and, um, I think you're right, I think that might have been the scene, yeah, because like, you know, like, um, I'll. All fun and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And yeah. I was like, oh. It's like, oh. And um, <laughs> yeah, you know, but he was always talking to that weird bartender guy. Like, he'd go in there and he's like, he was like, eh. he's making yeah. those weird Jack Nicholson faces. <laughs> yeah, Fred said so many possibilities. Um, um, yeah, and two totally different scenes in one. So, yeah, there's, I mean, yeah, you could go to town with like reflections concepts. So, yeah, man, it's going to be cool. I, I, that's 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 gonna be a really fun show, and um, and I'm wondering like um, I'm wondering what the actual show is gonna be like, you know? But we haven't started putting that together. I mean, like, you know, what what the opening 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 day, opening night. Is yeah, well, be like. we install on the 29th of next month, and then I think the reception is the 18th or the 26th. It's one of those days. I can't remember, but. I know you have a workshop. Whatever is not the reception is the workshop day. But and then, but we'll let everybody know because John does like he's gonna give you know an artist talk and then, then the reception and all that fun stuff. But. Yeah, it'll be fun. So, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be it'll be nice. This this was in fact the Frisco show was the one that right when COVID hit was up in March of la of 2020, and we had everything. I mean, like it, there was you had a full show of park scenes we were going to do an immersive thing and all this sort of fun crazy stuff yeah and um and then right then COVID hit and they literally shut it down we did we did an you did an a talk like a, a, a virtual talk, talk where you went up there and um you both sat gosh like 10 feet apart oh that's right yeah. and talked and um and then they they put it on their Facebook and then we took the show down like you know it was it just it was it was so unfortunate because because that it was built up you know for like six months and then, bam. But you know you know what's amazing though is how many of the the paintings sold though. Yeah, that's like, true. Which I it really yeah, shocked definitely. me because we never had the show like we never well, opened it we never opened it to the public and that's true. And then but it was just like, good grief that was I was really I was really surprised. Yeah. I mean, you talk about a blessing you know that's that was that was really cool. Well, Fred said another cool thing with with old mirrors is that they have such decorative uh, frames, like a picture. So, and that's something that you were thinking about, like like we were gonna go and buy some trim, like super decorative trim, and you were gonna ma do a makeshift um, frame so that yeah yeah you, you could kind of place a mirror in or you know yeah 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 we we get to play set 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 designer so yeah we're gonna get that 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 really that that wood and I was gonna build the I'm gonna build the frame tomorrow the next day and then we're going to stain it and get yeah. it all but but that but that way though it's so it's it's open so you know you can put somebody on the other side yeah you can have somebody on either side of it and um you know and it it works really well and so we're going to get that that done and then we have an old vintage win window that we're actually going to hang to and so we're going to be able to play play around with that thing that thing is massively actually so it's heavy. over there behind you huh? yeah you can kind of see the it's right here Oh, you can I'm, see it? I'm pointing to it. Yeah, well, you can see the corner of I it. I forget it's there. Yeah. Well, oh, I, I had bought that thing at an antique store thinking that John, I wanted John to do, <laughs> I've always got projects for you. Or like, <laughs> they're not even like, they're not even like. Hey, John, paint this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and exactly. They're not honeydew projects. They're not like house projects, although you have your fair share of that. But they're usually like art, art concepts. So I'll come home and I'll be like, you should totally do this. And so I had, I went to uh, uh, antiquing with m one of my friends and. They had a slew of those old timey windows that, you know, are just really cool. And so I bought one, and I was like, it, it's got six panels in it. And I was I brought it home and was like, I've got an idea for you. No, notice it has not been painted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the goal was to like paint it and have a new sort of like branch of art that was like window art. But no, 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 no. Well, maybe you never know. Yeah, you never know. This, this might be just just the kick in the pants I need. Maybe, or it'll just be used as a prop in a in a well, setting. But that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, um, 
I think I'm going to call it quits on this right now. I think I'm about done with it. Um, I might let it dry and then I might put in more flowers or touch it up a little, but I've managed to get paint all over the canvas. <laughs> so it's wet everywhere, everywhere. I'm starting to touch and get paint, but it's about done. And um, I can't imagine there's going to be too many like major changes or anything to it. Like, I don't think like you'll, you'll see a photo of it and it'll suddenly be a little boy in the, in the water or something. <laughs> but um, so this is pretty much what it's going to look like. But um, what what we'll do is I'll, I'll wait for the paint to dry and I'll feel it. And if I need to make any adjustments, I will. But we'll also take some some good photos of it because then you can really see the colors and stuff. But Yeah, I'll take some close-ups. and I'll Yeah, that'll be cool. Well, thank you. And, the, and thanks so much, guys, for watching me like work, work on this thing. That was a lot of fun. And Well, Fred said it looks good. I want it. Oh, thank you, Fred. Thanks so much for liking it. You know, I, I appreciate that. And... Um, and guys, you know, um, hopefully we'll be able to hang out again this week. If you guys are, are available on Saturday, um, you know, we'll we'll be streaming and hopefully streaming. Unless yeah. if you don't see us, it's because um, the Jack booted, um, um, I don't know, Facebook cops or something well, came, what, what came we, descending yeah. down and stopped us. <laughs> yeah, what we might do is find, you know, we'll, if we get booted off, we could always like, Started up on a, a different do, de, device that has no audio, and but I, you know, it won't be as great. But we'll, you know, whatever, we'll we'll figure it out. Again, it'll be Saturday. I think we're gonna get we're gonna we'll probably start it around eight. Um, but you guys will get um, all the fun notifications if you aren't a part of the Drastic Art members Facebook group, and you want to be in on any of this. I would suggest um, going over there and joining, and we'll keep you in the loop. Uh, and we'll, we're going to do things in the future that are more collaborative, even more so, and maybe monthly, who knows, where we're going to try to do this. So um, be sure, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, share us with everybody you know, and we'll see you Saturday and again Tuesday. Well, awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Uh, see you later. <laughs>